Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be comparing Sega Genesis to the Super Nintendo. I know a little bit unusual, but I wanted to do that. So we're going to be comparing the just the console so we're not going to compare like the like the Satella view, which I don't think we'd want to include because I guess I wouldn't call the book. We're not going to include the 32X Wall Sega CD, mostly because I don't have those. But I would consider them more add-ons and not the console themselves. Back when this whole war was huge, those weren't out. So I would consider this more the playing consoles, you know. So first thing we're going to go over, we have three categories. Games, controllers, and reliability. First we're going to start with the Super Nintendo because that's genuinely what I just want to go over. We've got great games. You've got Pilot Wings. You've got Super Mario World. You've got... Oh, I don't know. Metroid F Zero. You got Doom on it. Doesn't run good, but it's fun. You got Doom. You've got. I don't know. You've got plenty of stuff. You've got Mario All Stars, which is just the first three and the second one in Japan, and it's like over right here. You've got um. You've got like Mario RPG. You've got some other stuff like Final Fantasy. Good one. Um, Zelda. You've got a bunch of main titles, and you've got some hidden gems too, like Tetris Attack or like you got Doctor Mario. You got a bunch of Mario games in here. Some of them are like some games like Mario RPG, pretty underrated. And then you've got big games, and in my opinion, a little overrated. Like I don't know, Pilot Wings. It's kind of overrated in my opinion. It's a good game, but it hasn't aged the best. So we're gonna go over the games now, and I have. Five games right now. I'm just sort of clicking for the Super Nintendo. Well, the Jig Sega Genesis, which I just got like two or three days ago. You got Mario All Store. I think you can see right there. You got NHL 96, which I've had this for ages. And you've got Super Mario World. You got Tetris Attack. And then you've got one Japanese game. It's Space Invaders, the original game. I got this for like five bucks. It was Cheap, so I was like, oh, I'll do it. Now, you might be wondering, wait, this is a US Super Nintendo because you live in the US. Yeah, I live in the US. How did you get to play it? So, there were little tabs, like under there. The little tabs, like in the quadruple. I can't show them. I don't have like a camera that can do that. But there's plenty of videos on YouTube to do that. Just Google, like, Super Nintendo region, like, unlocking and stuff. Like, you've got a bunch of stuff like that. Now I'm going to go into Sega Genesis games. A couple games, I can think of Sonic. Now, I have a game for you. Name 30 games that aren't Sonic. Yeah, that's right, you probably can't. There are a bunch of good games, but you have to be in the know. So, like, you've got, like, Sonic. You've got Sonic. I don't have Sonic 1 on a quarter, I have it on the six pack. Like, here. I got that for cheaper than the original Sonic. Combined. So you've got like all the Sonics, you've got Column, which is a great game, you've got Wobble Madness, which is the improved version of the NES one, which is awesome. You've got some of the best Sonic games on here. You've got, like, uh, you've got Earth, Moon, Jim, you've got Toe Jam and Earl, you've got Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Mortal Kombat, the better version in my opinion. You've got, oh, uh, what is it, you've got... got like sports games I guess and you've got Michael Jackson Moonwalker and that's all I can think of really I mean if I kept going I could keep thinking of more games like uh, I don't know but like like we'll say it twist of my tongue like like super hang on like yeah that's one of those I can remember but is it like it's not like one I'm gonna go recently say just super hang on no it's not gonna be the one I'm gonna think of it like last it's a good game but it's not one of those games that I would do it so who wins this who wins the game thing I have to go with Super Nintendo. There's way more recognizable titles on there, and you've got so much more to play. Now, if you're a big Sonic nut, and you want to get more like, like, if you're a big Sonic nut, get the Sega Genesis. But then get a, a Super Nintendo. There were so many games for it that were never on here that no wonder it's outsold it. It's got so much more recognizable titles. And the points go to Super Nintendo. Next is Controller. I already got this one. I already know it. So, I don't have an official Super Nintendo controller. You might be like, oh, why, is, why are you reviewing this? I had one about a month or two ago. 
the PCB flag, so I know what one looks like, so it's just a little cheap one I bought. I know what it looks and feels like, and you know who I'm going to give it to? You guessed it, Sega Genesis. I'm actually going to give it to them. I prefer the Super Nintendo controller, but over time, you've got these last long electric. The Super Nintendo controllers are button for they'll act weird, they'll, they'll feel off. If you buy an older used one, if you buy the one that has the ingrained Nintendo logo, because it's two different variants, the ingrained Nintendo logo came with the slim model. You've got that is better. I've held one, and those are way more reliable and they last much longer. But taking just some troubles just last longer, and you use more Atari and like some other stuff. They use a D the D nine port right here. I don't know. What, it's like it's a comp port. Super Nintendo. I would give it to you. You've got the better controller feel, but over time, no, I wouldn't give it to you because it's just unreliable. And then you've got. Yeah, and then now we have reliability. I have the Model 2, this is the one I can get for cheap, but the Model 1 is kind of high. Model 3, you kind of pointless in my opinion. You can't use any of the add-ons, you can't, the power base computer. I don't have that, but if I wanted to get it, I can't use that. I can use it on this by finagling it. Doing some really weird stuff with it, but I can do that with content, okay? But, um, you could do like... Like, this thing is way more reliable, way more common. Mine does not have the little thing there. I bought it for like 40 bucks because it was tested working and it was... Other than that, I've opened it up and I've cleaned it out. It's immaculate. I don't think this thing ever was used like a lot. I think it was probably used probably a kid, like maybe a year. Like it had very little dust in it and, like the, and it was like in perfect condition. So I think somebody just put the closet, a kid probably ripped this off. And I just, oh, I ain't know what it meant, so they threw it away. I don't know. That's what it happened. Super Nintendo. I'll have to give it to Super Nintendo, though. These were a little bit cheaper. If you go for the Model 1, if you want the Model 2, you're going to be spending a good hefty. So in reality, to get a Sega Genesis, Still with the Sega Disc if you're on the budget. Because Super Nintendo could be like a hundred bucks, to like a hundred to hundred twenty-five. You want like a good Sega Disc, you get you're paying like one fifty to one hundred. This was also like cheap, but it was nothing came with it. But I already had everything for it because I bought the disc controller for the toy, and I had the cables because I thought I was gonna get one later on like a year ago, like oh my god, what's it? Never did, I already had them though, so it was worth it. So you get a lot of you don't want to pick one of these up in better condition because it's not that good when you have this exposed. I much rather prefer, but yeah, I'm only 14, almost 15. I, I'm on a strict budget. I'm not like, we go on my way and, I don't know, buy 20 of these CRT TVs. I don't know. Can't do that. That's a very basic one right there. It's just like, it's just whatever I can afford. Yeah. There were some hit or miss games in Sega Genesis. There were some hits and some really big misses, but the misses aren't as big, aren't as much as the Sega Genesis. So you know what I'm gonna give it to? Super Nintendo. I'm gonna give the reliability to Super Nintendo. You can usually find them cheaper and because they like small out there. And you've got the Sega Genesis. Great system, but it isn't really the hop. So Super Nintendo, you win this time. And I guess Genesis doesn't do what Nintendo don't, in my opinion. It's one of your preferences. I mean, this war is it's all preferences. Like, like people like all the debate of like, oh, Xbox One versus like PS4. Like, dude, why are you talking about the debate? Like, it's just stupid. Why are we talking about the stupid Xbox One compared to the superior position four? Like, come on, man. It's not that stupid. Anyway, I'm just kidding. It, it's kind of dumb, but this console war, I'm gonna go. I, I think it's kind of dumb, but I think it has some. Differences, I think they can be fun to talk about, but when you start getting like angsty, you're like, no, you, you, this, this, that, and then you start getting mad and hate somebody because of it, I think you took it a little too far, just saying. If y'all want to go watch some more videos, it'd be appreciated. Anyways, uh, y'all later, bye.